Then sang Deborah and Barak the son of Abinoam on that day, that the leaders took the lead in Israel, that the people offered themselves willingly. Bless the Lord. Hear, O kings, give ear, O princes. To the Lord I will sing. I will make melody to the Lord, the God of Israel. Lord, when you went forth from Seir, when you marched from the region of Edom, the earth trembled, and the heavens dropped. Yes, the clouds dropped water. The mountains quaked before the Lord, the one of Sinai, before the Lord, the God of Israel. In the days of Shamgar, son of Anath, in the days of Jael, caravan ceased, and travelers kept to the byways. The peasantry ceased in Israel. They ceased until you arose, Deborah, arose as a mother in Israel. When new gods were chosen, then war was in the gates. Was shield or spear to be seen among forty thousand in Israel? My heart goes out to the commanders of Israel, who offered themselves willingly among the people. Bless the Lord. Tell of it, you who ride on tawny donkeys, you who sit on rich carpets, and you who walk by the way. To the sound of musicians at the watering places, there they repeat the triumphs of the Lord, the triumphs of his peasantry in Israel. Then down to the gates march the people of the Lord. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake, utter a song. Arise, Barak, lead away your captives, O son of Obinoam. Then down marched the remnant of the noble. The people of the Lord marched down for him against the mighty. From Ephraim they set out there into the valley, following you, Benjamin, with your kinsmen. From Machir marched down the commanders, and from Zebulun those who bear the martial staff. The princes of Issachar came with Deborah, and Issachar faithful to Barak. Into the valley they rushed forth at his heels. Among the clans of Reuben, there were great searchings of heart. Why did you tarry among the sheepfolds to hear the piping for the flocks? Among the clans of Reuben, there were great searchings of heart. Gilead stayed beyond the Jordan, and Dan, why did he abide with the ships? Asher sat still at the coast of the sea, settling down by his landings. Zebulun is a people that jeoparded their lives to the death. Naphtali too, on the heights of the field. The kings came, they fought, then fought the kings of Canaan at Tanakh, by the waters of Megiddo. They got no spoils of silver. From heaven fought the stars. From their courses they fought against Sisera. The torrent Kishon swept them away. The onrushing torrent, the torrent Kishon. March on, my soul, with might. Then loud beat the horse's hooves, with the galloping, galloping of his steeds. Curse Meros, says the angel of the Lord. Curse bitterly its inhabitants, because they came not to help of the Lord, to the help of the Lord against the mighty. Most blessed of women be Jael, the wife of Heber, the Canaanite, of tent-dwelling women most blessed. He asked for water, and she gave him milk. She brought him curds in a lordly bowl. She put her hand to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's mallet. She struck Sisera a blow. She crushed his head. She shattered and pierced his temple. He sank. He fell. He lay still at her feet. At her feet he sank, he fell. Where he sank, there he fell dead. Out of the window she peered. The mother of Sisera gazed through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why do the hoofbeats of his chariots tarry? Her wisest la ladies make answer. No, she gives answer to herself. Are they not finding and dividing the spoil? A maiden or two for every man. Spoil of dyed stuffs for Sisera. Spoil of dyed stuffs embroidered, two pieces of dyed work embroidered for my neck as spoil. So perish all your enemies, O Lord, but your friends be like the sun as he rises in his might. And the land had rest for forty years. The sons of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord gave them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed over Israel, and because of Midian the sons of Israel made for themselves the dens which are in the mountains, and the caves and the strongholds. For whenever the Israelites put in seed, the Midianites and the Amalekites, and the people of the east would come up and attack them. They would encamp against them, and destroy the produce of the land, as far as the neighborhood of Gaza, and leave no sustenance in Israel, and no sheep or ox or donkey. For they would come up with their cattle and their tents, coming like locusts for number. Both they and their camels could not be counted so that they wasted the land as they came in. 
and Israel was brought very low because of Midian. And the sons of Israel cried for help to the Lord. When the sons of Israel cried to the Lord on account of the Midianites, the Lord sent a prophet to the sons of Israel, and he said to them, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, I led you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of bondage, and I delivered you from the hand of the Egyptians and from the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land. And I said to you, I am the Lord your God. You shall not pay reverence to the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell, but you have not given heed to my voice. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the oak at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite, as his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, Please, sir, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this befallen us? And where are all his wonderful deeds, which our fathers recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has cast us off and given us into the hand of Midian. And the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours and deliver Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you. And he said to him, Please, Lord, how can I deliver Israel? Behold, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. And the Lord said to him, But I will be with you, and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. And he said to him, If now I have found favor with you, then show me a sign that it is you who speak with me. Do not depart from here, I beg you, until I come to you and bring out my present and set it before you. And he said, I will stay till you return. So Gideon went into his house and prepared a kid and unleavened cakes from an ephah of flour. The meat he put in a basket and the broth he put in a pot and brought them to him under the oak and presented them. And the angel of God said to him, Take the meat and the unleavened cakes and put them on this rock and pour the broth over them. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord reached out the tip of the staff that was in his hand and touched the meat and the unleavened cakes and there sprang up fire from the rock and consumed the flesh and the unleavened cakes and the angel of the Lord vanished from his sight. Then Gideon perceived that he was the angel of the Lord and Gideon said, Alas, O Lord God, for now I have seen the angel of the Lord face to face. But the Lord said to him, Peace be to you. Do not fear, you shall not die. Then Gideon built an altar there to the Lord and called it, The Lord is Peace. To this day it still stands at Ophrah, which belongs to the Abizrites. That night the Lord said to him, Take your father's bull, the second bull, seven years old, and pull down the altar of Baal which your father has, and cut down the Asherah that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on the top of the stronghold here with stones laid in due order. Then take the second bowl and offer it as a burnt offering with the wood of the Asherah, which you shall cut down. So Gideon took ten men of his servants and did as the Lord had told him. But because he was too afraid of his family and the men of the town to do it by day, he did it by night. A Maskell of Ethan the Ezraite. Of old you spoke in a vision to your faithful one and said, I have set the crown upon one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, so that my hand shall ever abide with him. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him. The wicked shall not humble him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. I will set his hand on the sea, and his right hand on the rivers. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. And I will make him the firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My merciful love I will keep for him forever, and my covenant will stand firm for him. I will establish his line forever, and his throne as the days of the heavens. If his children forsake my law, and do not walk according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes and do not keep my commandments, then I will punish their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with scourges. But I will not remove from him my merciful love or be false to my faithfulness. I will not violate 
my covenant, or alter the word that went forth from my lips. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His line shall endure forever, his throne as long as the sun before me. Like the moon it shall be established forever, it shall stand firm while the skies endure. Selah. After this, the Lord appointed seventy others, and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to come. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and salute no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace shall rest upon him. But if not, it shall return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, it shall be more tolerable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven. You shall be brought down to Hades. He who hears you hears me, and he who rejects you rejects me. And he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. In that same hour he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. The cyclical sin punishment repentance deliverance faithfulness pattern in the book of Judges does a great job depicting the temporary nature of earthly rest. Just as soon as we have fixed one problem, another one springs up. As soon as we have conquered one bad habit, another one overtakes us. The ebb and flow of Israel's obedience in Judges should give us pause, but more than that it ought to enkindle a desire for a greater destiny, a better, more permanent future. Psalm 89 points to this greater future when it goes on at length, lauding, your faithful one, David my servant. David and his royal descendants are pictured as superheroes who defeat all their enemies, conquer the whole world, and enjoy divine favor. David points forward to a future permanent solution to the problems we face. Jesus himself is the Davidic solution to the impermanent conquest over evil that God's people experienced. He points his own disciples away from temporary victory and toward eternal triumph. Do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. How is God inviting your heart to rest in the permanent victory of Christ in the midst of the storms of earthly life?